Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about my favorite alien romance authors. So I love quite a few alien romances. <laughs> I've read quite a few and I love a bunch of authors, but I think these 10 are like my favorite currently, the ones that I probably read the most books from or the ones where I love the majority of their books. I am rocking my um, Take Me to Not Hoth t-shirt. <laughs> Monica from Pardon This Book Addict got this for me like three years ago maybe and I, I love it. I always make sure to put it on when I'm doing like a Ruby Dixon, Ice Planet Barbarian or Alien Romance video of any kind. <laughs> so. I'm repping it for sure. We're also sitting next to my alien romance shelves. If you become a channel member of mine, soon there will be a whole entire in-depth video of me organizing this for y'all. Um, so look forward to that. But yeah, I have like six cubes here on this bookcase. Five of them are all Ruby Dixon. <laughs> and then I have this, uh, this square, this cube with other alien romances that I have. So we have uh, I think all these authors I will be talking about today, if not all of them, the majority of them. So let's get into this. We're going to talk about my 10 favorite alien romance authors. First one is very obvious. Um, let's talk about Miss Ruby Dixon. Okay, Ruby has written quite a few alien romances. Uh, she's probably the author that I've read the most books from of all time. She also has a lot of alien romances. This is the Era Books special edition of... Um, IPV, just wanted to show that off. It's beautiful. Um, but I own quite a lot of her books in my collection. She's the author that I own the most books from, for sure. She has written Iceland of Marines, which is this series. There's also the spin off version, um, Ice Home, which also takes place on this same planet, but with new human women. If you want to know the reading order, by the way, for this like era of like ruby verse um like the ice planet barbarian verse i actually have a whole entire like guide video i'll link that down below on like what order to read these books because i don't recommend just going willy-nilly like you i feel like you have to read them in order honestly to get the best reading experience and then um the second spinoff series is um the ice planet clones series so these are all alien romances and she's also written a bunch of other ones i don't want to go too in depth because this video could be like a million years long but she has other alien romances as well she has a dragon shifter romance series she has which are aliens by the way she has this whole stack right here oh sorry that fell over i didn't even realize that um but this whole stack right here there's more in this series but this is her risdiverse series which is one of my favorite books of all time right here when she belongs it's one of my favorites Ever. I love it. So she has quite a lot of alien romances. There's even this, like, that was a fail. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Ruby. Back you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> she even has this, like, obscure <laughs> alien romance one. The Alien Assassin's Convenient Wife. Like, this one's funny. It's funny. Um, let's try to put this back without knocking me and Ruby over. Okay. Okay, we're good. She's also written, though, like, um, fantasy romances and shifter romances like paranormal romances she's even written motor motorcycle club romances so if you want to know everything that ruby's written i also have a guide video <laughs> i'll link that down below also of me like describing everything that she has written and like kind of like ranking everything so that's all down below for you um but yeah ruby is definitely a top alien romance author for me personally and i feel like a lot of people her books are just so fun and i feel like all of her characters are different in ways but i also just love her cinnamon roll alien heroes like i i'm i'm obsessed with them another one of my favorites is zoe draven let me grab the series out but she wrote ugh, this whole series that i love this is the horde kings of dakar series these are all uh six books in the original covers um but she's written quite a few other alien romance series what is this doing back here like it's supposed to go up here I'm like a chaotic mess. But this is, I feel like, her most popular series, and it's a series that I've read in full. She has a few other ones. Tiffany and I read a novella for our first book club pick for our Beam Me Up book club, our Alien Romance book club. If you don't know about that, Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages and I run an Alien, Ro alien Romance book club where we read an alien slash monster romance book every single month. So if you want to join in, go on ahead. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we actually did a whole entire read along for this series because Tiffany had never read them before. So we read two books a month and it was so incredibly fun being able to like see her reactions and y'all's reactions to these books because they're fantastic. Like these are some of like my favorite books ever. Like this book is one of my favorite books of all time, book number four. So stinking good. Um, but yeah, these ones give off the Dothraki from Game of Thrones vibes. So if you want like Dothraki, 
here you go. And then if you want to get into alien romances, but you haven't yet, but you love fantasy romances, this is another series that is an amazing start. I'm about to start Desiring His Blood, which is an alien romance series with like blood drinking vampire alien creatures. I'm about to start that series. I think it's called like The Brides of Kylor or something. Those sound really good. Um, but I've read a few of her novellas. Um, which are like her shorter length alien romances that she wrote before this series and those are really fun as well I need to read more of them. I definitely want to read her backlist like I did with Ruby. Oh my gosh another amazing author. All these authors are amazing. Okay is Elizabeth Stevens. Okay I've only read a few of her books but I need to read more. I need to read more. She has a whole entire series so I only own one book in the series but it's the um Severi Mates series. This is book number two because it's my favorite that I've read so far. I think I've read four or three books in the series. Tiffany and I have been like reading, buddy reading these. They're so fun to buddy read, just letting you know. But yeah, these books are really good. They have a bunch of different alien romance creatures, like in almost every single one of the books. And then all the women are so diverse and different. I love seeing the character art that she commissioned on her Instagram. You get to like see what all these women look like. And they're like fantastic, bad A women. Yeah, these are just alien romances that are so fun. I never would have thought looking at this cover, like this is like some sexy alien romance book but it is it's so good i honestly also love the like alternate alternate covers that she created with like the um commission art on the front of the characters it's so good book number two is definitely my favorite kind of gives me ice planet barbarian vibes and the fact that our heroine um, wakes up on an ice planet and she's being hunted by our hero who's her faded mate like it's so good so these books deal with the faded mate trope of course but she's written i think other books than the series need to explore that more and her like newest series that she's working on is more of like the post-apocalyptic paranormal realm other than alien but like her alien romances are so so good they remind me of like the world building of a fantasy world just letting you know i love victoria Aveline. okay she's only written one series and i've read I love the books, but they're so good. They're so good. I only own these ones. Um, so the first book in the series is Choosing Theo. And I also own book number five, Using Feho. I also own these two special editions from Faded Romance Book Box. So this is book number one, Choosing Theo, and book number two, Frank Luca. So this is actual cover and this is the special edition one. Um, and these are signed, which is fantastic. Um, but anyway, I'll hold this one up. So there are, I believe, seven books in this series. Um, she's currently writing book number eight, which I am so excited for. These books take place on a planet called Clickania. It's a planet that is overrun specifically by males. There are females on the planet. However, there's way more males than women. In this first book, Jade and a bunch of human women have been illegally abducted by aliens on this planet that their government has no idea about. And uh, Jade happens to escape the captors and runs into the good people on this planet and um, they don't really know what to do with her and how to like help her like rejoin society and the way that women live on this planet is to be constantly married to someone it can be a temporary marriage a f it's pretty rare to have a f like forever marriage but anyway regardless since there's no so few women they have to be constantly married to somebody and producing offspring and so the heroine has to choose a husband <laughs> and she chooses theo from a lineup of men and people are absolutely shocked by this because in their eyes theo is ugly because he's covered in scars whereas jade thinks like oh my gosh he is stunning i need him <laughs> and when theo gets chosen to be a husband he thinks that some trick is being played on him because he's been ridiculed all his life because of his scars and when he meets jade and sees how absolutely beautiful she is He's like, um, she must be a spy or something. Like she could not want me for me, but she does, she does, she does. This has fantastic plus size representation with our heroine. It's so good. This one's book number five using Feho. This one's really good. It's like a grumpy sunshine where the heroine is the grump and the hero is a sunshine. He's a space pirate. It's really good. Okay, um, but these two are my, were tied as my favorite. And then I read book number seven. I read Ruling Sick Band. That one's my favorite. <laughs> That one is my favorite. That one is so good. You have like kind of like a forced marriage and um, a tattoos for days and like secretly stalking someone. It's so good. It is just because fantastic. So incredibly good. And I love all these books. All of them take place on Clicania and a lot of them have been ventured out into different territories and areas on the planet. And you get to learn about all these different alien cultures. It's so good. I keep saying that, but it is. It's really good. And so Victoria Aveline is just so talented. She's so talented because I get sucked into every single one of these books and I love all the different cultures and things going on in every book. Like every single book is different in this series. Oh my gosh, a fun one that I love. I don't own any of her books, um, but this is Honey Phillips. She's written so many 
books, like so many books. And like looking at her, at her Goodreads right now, she's written, I don't even, doesn't even tell me how many, but so many books. It's because she has these Amy Norman series that are kind of like shorter in length, anywhere from like 150 to 300 pages is typically like her normal book length. So they're not that long, um, but there are so many of them. Like she has an alien abduction series where each book in the series is by the alphabet. So like the first one's like, Anna and the Alien, and then like the second one's titled Beth and the Barbarian, and then Cam and the Conqueror. So it goes in alphabetical order to do, I think she's done the whole, has she done the whole alphabet yet? I don't know, there's 22 books in this series. I own book number one in that series, I need to get to that one. I've read her entire Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers series. That one was so fun. It's like a spinoff of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, like the, the movie, musical, whatever. And like, it's so fun with all the different aliens in there. There's like the kidnapping, capture captive trope, but it's also really sweet. It takes place on an ice planet. Can you tell I love? love an ice planet. There's also her Treasured by the Alien series. I've only read book number one, but those are like lizard creature aliens that are actually like complete and utter softies that are falling for um, like single moms, teen moms also like who are grown up. I've been wanting to read the Fairhaven Falls series, which have like fun, cute covers. Like the first one is like cupcakes for my orc enemy or something like that. I've also read like one about her and uh, an alien farmhand. Like she just has fun, like, alien romances to like escape to for like a little while um, because they are pretty short and easy to read. And like, it's just fun. Like the different types of stories she creates, like seven brides for seven brothers and you have alien like lizard creatures. <laughs> like it's actually really fun. Tiffany Roberts is actually a dual author name. So you have a husband and wife, Tiffany and Robert. So Tiffany Roberts, and they write, I feel like a range of uh, romances. They've written paranormal, um, monster romances, but I love their alien romances as well. So I'll highlight those. You obviously have the Ensnared trilogy, which is a trilogy about like the same couple, a human named Ivy and a spider alien creature named Katon. There's three books in the series. I only own book number one. Um, this one is a um, exclusive like book box edition from Faded Romance. Um, but this one was really good. I really love these. If you want an alien romance that's like multiple books long about the same couple, this one's really good. Like this, I'm afraid of spiders, but this one did not, like I was not creeped out. Like I feel like I was fine. Um, and then I also love, this was my, oh, not my first one. My first book that I read by them was a fantasy mermaid demon romance, <laughs> but that's not alien romance. That's one's, that one's a fantasy for sure. Um, this is claimed by an alien warrior. This was my next book that I read by them. This one's interesting though, because it's an alien romance that takes place on earth. You very rarely get alien romances that take place on earth. So our hero has been kidnapped by our government and is being experimented on and he ends up escaping one day. And the heroine I believe is sitting in her car at a gas station when he just hops into her car and basically forces her to drive away because he's trying to run away from these men trying to experiment on him. And um, he like basically kidnaps her and forces her to drive them somewhere. <laughs> this one is really good. It has fantastic plus size representation as well. The hero has four arms. Like it's really fun. It's like a high speed chase with the with this alien and the human government. <laughs> but they have other alien romances too. I've read their Kraken one. That one's really good. There are aliens that are also like Kraken shifters. I've only read uh, the first or second book in that series. And then they have other alien romances that I just haven't read yet. Like they have the Infinite City series. Um, which are just a bunch of alien romances um, from I think the same city on this one planet. And then you have the Aliens Among Us series, which is really fun. I've been wanting to read those because those look more like cutesy, but also hot. Like the first one is Taken by the Alien Next Door. <laughs> so um, yeah, they redid a bunch of their covers and I actually really love them, so. My next author is Regine Abel. I've only read, I think three books by this author, but her writing is so good and immersive. I love it. So I've only read her books in her Prime Mating Agency series. And this is book number two, the only book that I own. This one's I Married a Naga. The first one is I Married a Lizard Man. And that one really reminds me of Radiance by Grace Draven. If you know, you know, that's like my favorite book ever. I freaking love that book. So this one is very much like Radiance, but aliens instead of fantasy, you know? And yeah, each book in the series is about like human women being matched up with alien creatures as like being their perfect match. Um, so a lot of them are like arranged marriages, if you want to call it that. There's 11 books in this primating agency series. She has a whole like alien warrior series, just a, a bunch of different ones. It looks like she has like a thruple one as well. And she also has some monster ones that I know my friend Brie from In Love and War, it's like loves, where someone like literally falls in love with like a nightmare creature. I will hype this next author up forever because I feel like she's so under hype. This is A.G. Wild. I love so many of A.G. Wild's books. My favorite series by far 
is the Ribs Sanctuary series. There's three books in that series and the first one starts out with our heroine being kidnapped from Earth and um, this evil praying mantis looking alien basically buys her at an auction and um, as a gift for his wife and the moment the wife like sees her she's like that's the most ugly creature that I've ever seen in my entire life like I don't want it and so this alien doesn't know what to do with this human so <laughs> he drops her off at Riv's doorstep who owns this alien animal sanctuary and he's like what do I do with a human? <laughs> I also love book two so it's protection it's one of my favorite alien romances ever our hero was sent to hunt down this animal in this jungle and it turns out they're heroin. And he's like, oh my gosh, you're a sentient like woman. Like I was told I was hunting an animal, like what is going on? So the two of them are trying to escape the people who are actually hunting her. I've also read her Captured by Alien series. I've read all the books in that series. And that one is about a group of women who have been taken by these gross like frog looking aliens. This undercover group of aliens uh, who are on the same ship end up saving them and all of them end up crash landing onto a planet nearby that's a desert planet and all of them are surviving in like human alien like pairs and that's like each romance story of them trying to survive on this desert planet. She's also written the Captured Earth series which is a post-apocalyptic alien romance series I want to say and I've only read one book in that series and that one's pretty dark so I have to be in the right mindset to read that one and then my last series I will highlight is her um Faded Mates of the Atari series there's four books in the series and each book in that series is about a heroine with a disability so I've read two books in that series and I definitely want to read more but her books are on the shorter side which I love every now and then. I also want to hype up Ursa Dax. She's amazing. She's written a very long series. This is the Fated Mates of the Sea Sand Warrior. Sorry, that's a tongue twister. Let me start again. The Fated Mates of the Sea Sand Warrior series. The series is very popular. There's 15 books in the series. I definitely want to read more. And then I've also read a few of her like holiday ones. Oh my gosh, if you want a holiday alien romance, you need to read Ursa's because they're so good. I loved chimera for christmas like tiffany and i love that book that series i need to read the second one which is like um about an alien orc during christmas time i love that so um she's written quite a few books the majority of them are in her um like cc and warrior series and i need to read more for sure i see one that has a blue hero you know i am going to be picking up that one soon <laughs> um but yeah i definitely need to marathon that series it looks so good her writing is so immersive i have so much fun reading her books there are a bunch of other alien romance authors i could talk about but i'm gonna just talk about one more so be sure to leave your favorite alien romance authors down below because i'm always looking for more there are a few like honorable mentions okay that i could list down there as well that i'll put after I post this. Um, but my next one is Amanda Milo. I have read quite a few books by Amanda Milo. The first one that I read from her is Stolen by an Alien, which really sets up this whole alien romance series that she's written um, with a bunch of like alien romance creatures. I can't really even really describe it. This one is about a human woman who gets kidnapped from Earth and saved by her hero who is, he saves her from being sexually assaulted by these evil aliens on this planet who bought her at an auction. And he thinks that she's honestly a princess from his native land because apparently on his planet, his princesses and royalty basically look like humans, but they have wings. So he thinks that she has been, her wings have been clipped and he's like devastated for her. They don't speak the same language, language, barrier to the extreme in this book. <laughs> and then my favorite one might be Blindfall by her. This one's really good. Your heroine is up on an auction block. She gets kidnapped from Earth and is sold with her guide dog. The hero ends up saving her, buying her, um, to save her from gross leering aliens that he sees. The heroine is blind and the hero is a farmhand and he's like, I have a friend who has a spaceship so maybe he can help you get back home. But once she comes to his farm with him, she does not want to leave because it's it's magical there on his farm. You definitely need to read her books in this specific series, Stolen by the Alien series, like in order because you would be so lost because there's also repeat couples throughout and a lot of these are also on audiobook so go check audible for those but she's written quite a few other ones that are not in this series like one of my favorite ones um is the alien nanny for christmas <laughs> like that one's so fun and that one actually takes place on earth anyways so you have it those are some alien romance authors that i love let me know down below if you've read any of these authors or if you plan to what authors would you add to this list i would love to know if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me of course any type of alien related emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all